Hi there, this is Mathia Ford with Renal Diet Headquarters and creator of the Understanding Your Kidney Test Results course. And I wanted to, <clears throat> excuse me, I want to go live today and talk about some of the questions that I've been getting and talk a little bit about the course. So if you're joining me live, please put your comments below, your questions below. Um, if this is a replay, feel free to still continue to put your questions in the um, comments below. And I will put a link after this is over to the spot where the um, website is for the sales page. But if you've got questions, put them in your comments, put the comments in below. But I'm gonna go through some of the questions I've already gotten. So, um, the first question that I um, got was, does the course go through a um, list of foods to eat and not eat? So the answer to that is no. The course is really about um, what are your labs that you get taken when, you're, when you have chronic kidney disease, and then how do they predict what is gonna happen next, and then how do you adjust to that? So how do you, take what your potassium level is, know kind of what to change. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. So it won't be, it's not really about the food, but it is kind of about the food. But this is more about understanding like where your labs are showing you that things are going. So um, that leads me to the next question. So um, what labs do I cover? And I cover, um, Labs that, so the answer to that is I cover the labs that are related to kidney disease. EGFR, UACR, potassium, phosphorus, calcium, vitamin D, parathyroid. I talk about blood pressure. I talk about diabetes labs. Um, so everything that should be in there, but the answer is also that because this is an introductory course, it's an introductory price right now, and it's available to you just through next Monday, the 19th, of, for $27, one-time purchase. Um, the answer is that I'm gonna take your feedback, and if there's a lab that you wanna know more about, and it's related to kidney disease in some way, then I'm gonna do a course, I'm gonna add a module about that. So the course will be ready August 30th. Um, what happens when you purchase? Uh, what happens when you purchase, you'll be able to go in and watch the welcome video. You'll be able to fill out a survey, really short survey that kind of talks about what is it that you really want to learn just so I make sure I cover all the bases. And then um, you'll get a notification, but basically August by August 30th, you will have access to all of the course. None of it will be delayed. You can watch whatever you want after August 30th. Um, and so the, I got another question. Sorry, I'm looking at my list of questions and making little notes so I can answer them. Um, how is this, uh, first of all, the question was, my doctor explains, or I read my labs um, report and I know what the normal values are. And if the doctor explains it to me, you know, the, the doctor takes their time and explains it. And that's one of the people that, um, you know, you may not need the course, but the second part of that is that the doctor explains what's normal, you know what's normal, but how do you know what the trend is? How do you know what it's looking like? Or how do you know when you add these two labs together that that means this particular thing? A lot of people are still going to their general practitioner, they may not be seeing a neph nephrologist yet, or maybe seeing a nephrologist soon, and you want to be able to ask targeted questions and improve your health, but um, this would help you to look at that. And when you go into the nephrologist to say, I see my labs are this, and I see that they're trending this direction. What is it that we can do to continue that if it's a good thing or to um, improve it if that's not a good thing? So this is like um, the next step. It's like the bigger picture. So one of the things is you look at your labs individually and your doctor might look at your labs, you know, each by themselves, but there is a bigger picture that you can put together and that dietitians typically put together to look at like what is gonna happen? How is this gonna affect? Where is this showing it's going? So you might look at your EGFR and your other labs and be like, everything's fine, 
but not realize that when you put all these, these are the things you should put together that you should look at to see like how is it, um, meet, what's the trend, what's going. So that's the biggest things that I think that a lot of people get out of this if they already have a good relationship with their doctor um, where they spend a lot of time with them. I love that, that's awesome. Um, <clears throat> but they, you, you will see a bigger picture when you watch the whole course. Um, and with the checklists and stuff that are included. So another question was, will I be able to prevent starting on dialysis? And my answer to that, I always say this to people, you may or may not be able to slow down the progression of your kidney disease, but at the very least, you'll be able to do the things you need to do to be in the best shape to, um, so maybe you could slow down the progression of kidney disease enough by making the changes that you need to make, but maybe your kidney disease has progressed a little further than you realize, and you can do the next step, which is getting your body and yourself ready for dialysis and be in the best shape possible because there are some things you really need to do before you start dialysis that your labs show you like how you can see that that's happening and where, the, where it's going. Um, so I don't see any comments yet, so I'm, I'm gonna keep answering my questions I got. Um, another question, which is valid, if you watch the webinar, um, you, may, you may already know all this, but I'm a registered dietitian. What makes me an expert? I'm a registered dietitian. I've been a registered dietitian for over 22 years. And for the last nine years, I have spent my time and energy devoted to learning about kidney disease, to learning the, looking at the evidence base, looking at the, um, what happens to different people, talking to people, providing meal plans, doing counseling. All of that gives me a lot of background and a lot of expertise to do this. Um, and you can look up you know my credentials i'm a registered dietitian you can go to eatright.org and look for my name and verify that i'm a registered dietitian but um you know i've been a dietitian for 22 years and this is my passion this is something that um if you ever hear me talk about kidney disease you'll start to hear in my voice how i really really want to make this the um place that you can go that you can have hope that you can do uh, changes, that you can prevent getting on dialysis, that you can slow down the progression, that you don't have to just wait for your body to um, slowly but surely get to dialysis. I want you to prevent that and I wanna do everything you can. So um, another question I got was, um, how is the course delivered? And it's delivered all at once, like I said, August 30th, it's going to be ready, but it's going to be all at once and it's videos and transcripts and there will be captions on the videos. So you'll be able to watch the video and read the transcript, whether you pull it up on your computer or you just watch the captions. I know a lot of my uh, customers have issues with uh, sight or with um, reading. So you can, you have a lot of options here. And I have um, done that on purpose. If there's another way that I need to deliver it and I get that feedback, then I'd be glad to. But for right now, it'll be videos. It'll be short videos, five to seven minutes. They'll describe one type of um, lab and they'll talk about like what the trend is, what is normal. And then they'll also talk about like what makes it abnormal, why it might be abnormal. Some things um, are abnormal for other reasons than just kidney disease. And some labs are, when you look at two or three of them together, you start to see that this means something significant is happening. Um, so I wanted to answer a few more questions. I've got a few more. Uh, what is the refund policy? And the answer to that is that because it's digital, um, I want to. I want you to feel confident that you're going to get what you're asking for. It's twenty-seven dollars. That may be a lot of money to you. That may not be a lot of money to you, but it's it's significant. So 
I have a refund policy that as of August 30th, when it all be available, it's 14 days from that date, so until September 13th. And you will be able to request a refund, no questions asked. I'll give you your refund and um, send you on your merry way so you can watch everything. Obviously, I don't want you to ask for a refund. I want you to find it so valuable. But what you're getting when you purchase this, this one time, you're buying it before I'm finished because you are willing, you want a lower price. It's going to be higher price when I reopen it. I'm closing it August 19th, next Monday at midnight, Central Time. And I'm closing it. I'm going to finish building out the course. I'm going to take all the feedback I'm going to add to it. And when it reopens, it will be higher in price. Obviously, it'll be ready all at once, so you'd be able to watch it at that time. But what you're getting is lifetime access. So when I add future content, when I add more labs or when more research comes out that says um, something about labs or what needs to change, then I'm going to add that to this course. And you will still have access to it. I'll send you a note, hey, I just updated the course with this information. Please go in and watch. Um, but those types of things you will you will have access to forever. So your one-time payment, one time, will entitle you to future all future access and lifetime updates. Um, let me see what other questions. How long is the course? It's going to be about two hours worth of video, but they're all chunks, and you can watch whatever you want. So you'll be able to watch just the parts that are important to you. If you just found out you had kidney disease and you don't have diabetes, you may not want to watch the diabetes part, but you'll um, have everything you need to know to be strong and be advocating for your own health and talk to your doctor about it in a way that is helpful to you. Um, why is it so inexpensive? So it's $27 through next Monday, August 19th. I keep telling you that. Go to the link. Um, it's understanding. It's renaldiethq.com. If you go to the main page at the top of the page, it says understanding kidney test results. Uh, you can click on that or you can go to uh, the link that's below. But um, why is it so inexpensive? I wanted to make it accessible to everyone on the list. So I know that a lot of people are on a fixed income or they don't have as much income and they may have, but they still need this information. It's still gonna be valuable to them. So I am making it inexpensive for that reason. I, I think you're gonna get 10 times the value or more out of it. And um, this is a, an introductory group, a beta group where you're gonna give me feedback, but I'm definitely doing this so that everybody, a lot of people will have access and be able to get it. And again, in the future, it'll close on Monday and then in the future it will be at a higher price because it will be um, a, bigger version I guess you'll get all of that though when you sign up today um, is it a replacement for my doctor uh, this is not medical advice and this is only um, meant to augment your doctor's visits and to give you an opportunity to understand kind of the next step so when you look at your labs and you look at what's normal and then you look at um, you may think okay that's fine nothing's changing but normal is always a range and there's some things that can indicate whether it's improving or not improving and even if it's improved if your EGFR improved so say it went from 46 to 50 and you don't know what you did or you don't know what might have caused that then how can you repeat that to help keep it there um, so this course is going to teach you kind of why why things improve or why they didn't improve and that'll give you like okay this is what I did this is what I need to change and um, that will all be beneficial to you in many ways whether it's savings on medications that you won't have to take later whether it's saving on your time at the doctor's office because you're improving or because you have the questions that you want to ask um, so I I'm just, I'm excited for this course for you, and I'm excited to be able to um, help you without, yes, you can go to a dietitian, <clears throat> and um, they will explain normal, and they will even probably spend some time explaining why things changed, but you just can't do that all the time every time you get labs, usually, 
So, <coughs> excuse me. I wanted to talk about a little bit about like if this product is for you or not. So, um, because I get I get it. It may seem like I don't need this. So maybe if you don't, maybe you don't. Um, this product is for you if a couple things happen. You don't understand your kidney test results. You want a better way to improve. You want to look at the bigger picture. You want to make improvements. You don't want to continue in where it's going. Or you want to at least understand how to try to slow that down. Um, uncovering ways, discovering ways to slow down the progression of your kidney disease or to be healthier on dialysis is important. Like you care about this. You care that your kidneys are going that direction and you wanna do what you can to change it. And if you like learning from an expert on kidney disease, I am an expert on kidney disease. Um, I've been doing it for a long time, as I said before. So, um, but this product is not for you if you are not curious, you don't care about your labs, um, you don't have any interest in learning what is what you need to change then this is not for you if you want a magic pill this course is not a magic pill it's not going to tell you the top 10 foods that you can eat um that will stop kidney disease or cleanse or you know whatever i don't go there i don't like that i think it's a farce i do believe you can improve your kidney disease but i'm never going to say that you're going to cure yourself because the fact of the matter is, is that the damage is done, but what can you do to keep the damage from continuing? But um, if you don't believe you can change anything, this product is not for you. You just waste your time. You already know all the kidney lab tests. So I get, I gotten some responses from some people that are like, my doctor already talks to me about all this. They already explain everything. We look at it. Great. That is awesome. I'm so happy that you have that doctor. And if you don't feel like you need it, then you don't need it. Um, I don't hear that story very often. Uh, and if you don't want the best solution, if you want to spend your time, you know, once you get your labs Googling and looking, there are things in this course that even if you Googled, you wouldn't be able to find out because there are things that medical professionals know and they're evidence-based. And a lot of the people that are writing about stuff about kidney disease, kidney cleanses, kidney cures are not, um, reliable sources of information. They don't have the degree. I went to college for four years. I went to a year long internship and again, 22 years as a registered dietitian. I have the knowledge and information that is going to help you to feel better. So I want to take a minute and think about um, imagining what life could be like if you feel like this is for you. Um, <clears throat> imagine if you could ask some targeted questions of your doctor. So instead of looking at your labs and going, oh, it's down again, you could say, okay, I see this is down, this is the trend, what are we doing? What are we gonna do to help me improve? Um, so I'm not telling you what to have your doctor do, I'm not telling you what medications to take, I'm telling you how to look at your own individual labs, the things that are specific to you, and make those changes instead of generic untargeted changes like a list of low potassium foods. Um, imagine if you knew what questions to ask, what steps to take to slow it down. You had clear explanations about your lab reports. It's a, people, a lot of people have sent me notes and said, I don't even know what the abbreviations mean, you know, half the time and it says normal, so I just go with it. This is going to teach you like what of those labs is really going to matter. Um, what if you knew what to change based on your individual report? So not based on a generic response, but based on this is what my labs say. And you wanna understand how your labs, your medication, and your diet work together. Those three things are very important to your kidney health. And if you wanna stop ignoring those changes and stop ignoring um, what's gonna happen and make the changes and be act proactive, then I would invite you to take the course um, again, $27, understanding kidney test results. And uh, again, if you're watching the replay, please feel free to put questions below if you have more questions, and I'll come back and answer those. Thanks, guys.